Welcome to another vlog, it's me Angelo Caruana today and Vince Bonello Paca, since Pierre didn't make it today. Today we're in Hal Ormin, one of our valleys, and we are going to explore Aris Lalep. This is the, the Cave of the Crosses in English. It has some features in it, um, like a rib cage engraved in it, some crosses as well engraved. So, uh, what do you think, Paca? Shall we go and explore? We go? Because it's out here, it's cold, there today. Yes. And should be, yes, in fact, it's here, uh, the, the opening of this cave. It's here, Paca. Ah, here, here it is. Yes. Okay, so, it's going to be interesting, this adventure, so stay with us. It's a small entrance here. Have a look. There's not enough light, so you have to bring your own lights here. So, as I told you, this cave has a lot of particular features that till now we didn't find in other caves. These, these um, not markings, they are a uh, hand dug. It's man-made for sure. It's like a rib cage on both sides. You can find here, it's uh, all. There are some signs on the wall as well. It's like uh, graffiti, even here. If you, they are paired from one side to another. There are some holes in the ceiling as well. It's quite easy to enter the first part. Very interesting. Look, it's about one quarter of a meter deep, not all, but there are many, yeah? If you have a look over there. The first feature which uh, one can find in this uh, cave, it's, this is a large rock. It's like a table. And there's uh, the saying that uh, this cave was used as a, like a, a church. So, it might be that those uh, engravings, the, the rib cage, um, it was like to replace um, uh, the columns in a cathedral. But uh, there are no, uh, we found no information online, so unfortunately we have to guess. There are these markings, which I am showing you right now. There are even some, it's like 186, I think. Seven, I don't know, but uh, there are a lot of markings, even here. It's like, uh, in Maltese, we call it a bandalora. There are some crosses as well. I can show you this one is one of them, or it's like, and that's why it's called Arislalep. There's another one here, it's engraved. There are a lot of features, even at the ceiling. If you have a look at the ceiling, there are some holes over here. There's one over there. It's like a dome, this part, Vince. Like this if part, you, oh. Yes, it's a, mm -hmm. it's I a, imagine it's like a dome. But I think it is it's in the middle. Natural, it yes, it's natural, natural uh, but... Not, not uh, they didn't do it, I think. Yes, but maybe that's why they used to use it as a... As a church, there is another hole here. If you have a look, have a look inside. It seems natural as well. Eh? It's about one meter high, deep. And these, which were man made for sure, it's like, uh, as I told you, a rib cage. Even um, like the, to replace. Um, the columns of uh, a cathedral or or something. Here we have something very interesting. I don't know what it is. Have a look. It's like, what do you think? Paka, it's, uh, it's, yeah, a, it's a, a spider, what? As I told you before, I think, I'm not sure about it for sure. I think it's um, 
it's a nest for the for the spider. It's, uh, it's like it's, it's a, like cotton. Cotton, uh -huh. It's like cotton. Maybe there's the eggs inside. I you never, know? I never saw something and like this. All, and all of them. Uh, I saw here, and I saw there. You see here, uh, orange. One here and one there. You see the small ones. Okay, very interesting. There is there is uh, some of them, but I don't know exactly. Maybe someone can tell us. Yes, if you have more information, it will be nice to share it with us and uh, get to know more. Uh, we're not historians, we're not, um, uh, so let's uh, share information and know from one to each other. There are these two holes as well, it's like uh, two eyes. It's like a pocket disc one. Have a look. And we condemn such things, huh? Doing barbecues inside the cave, especially nowhere you have to do it, but inside the cave, it's uh, it's not that good. Eh? There's a hole here, so come in here, take great care. Always wear a head torch in these places because it's uh, nearly dark. So look how nice the features. This part seems natural the ceiling very interesting here Paka. very interesting so we have to go inside here yes yes there are some two pockets two chambers inside so we, we will uh, we will continue going inside this cave till now it's very beautiful and very interesting after viewing this area of this cave we are going there are for sure two chambers over there so let's go inside. Paka. Boom. Our head. The helmet. The helmet. <laughs> the king. <laughs> so now we have to go over there. There's a small passage. And I think over there we have to crawl a bit. like a tunnel here so there are some engravings over here I think they are not that uh, old eh? and on the ceiling there's that it's like it's like a bell or a dome we saw that feature in the fisherman cave yes yes I saw the same the same thing like yes I think when water comes over here it goes up and uh, form that because uh, this part it uh, seems natural there's another small uh, chamber here which we have to crawl a bit and then it seems to open over there so stay with us hope you are enjoying this adventure today it's me and Paco because Pierre already made it here and today he didn't make it as well so uh, let's go inside hopefully I will manage to do it I will put some light There are some tree branches here, over here, uh, this one, look how, how big it is. Have a look here, it's like a small chamber. It's doable, Pakata, huh? not, not that difficult. It's a bit slippery here, hope I will try. Not too full. This is the last chamber that we can go. Have a look. There are these rocks. Seems not that safe, but that's why I'm staying here. Because there are some bench, as I told you, some tree branches. Are, look. And seems here is the last part of this cave. Some engravings, as I told you, not that old. Have a look. But it's amazing, eh? So let's go outside. There's Paka waiting for me. Um, even for safety, we didn't enter um, at the same time. So uh, let's continue this adventure and go out from where we came.
very interesting over the alpaca. It's not that difficult and uh, make sure not to slip because it's a bit slippery but it's doable. Now we are going back from this small tunnel. There is Paka in front of me. It was worth it, Paka, yeah. It was worth it, yes. Very nice. We are dirty now. Yes. You have to avoid here if it's yeah. rainy, yeah. Even yeah. the the yeah. valley it's it's very dangerous coming here in the rain. So avoid such areas. And now we are back in this part. We came to the end of another interesting vlog from here, from the Aris, Aris Lalep, the Cave of the Crosses from Ormi. Hope you enjoyed this adventure. It was me, Angelo Caruana and Vince Bonellopaka. Please subscribe, like and comment on all our vlogs, on our boat channels. Until the next one, bye bye.